You are engaged. I sure am. I show up that ring. <laughs> that is something. It is so beautiful. Thank you so much. How is engagement life? Oh my goodness. It's probably the most favorite era I've ever had. Really? I love my fiance era. It's oh. been so fun. And my fiance, Jonathan, is just, he's my world. I love it. Will you catch us up? How and when did you meet? Oh my goodness. So we met I'm going into 2019. Um, met through a mutual friend at the club. Stop. <laughs> Fell in love at the club, you like met, Usher. You were just out one night? Just out one night. And he was out one night? Yes, and we Amongst... sparked up a conversation, and it was one of the best conversations I've ever had at a club, and <gasps> the rest is history. Wow, you don't hear that often. <laughs> it's very you true. You really found love at the club. <laughs> I understand you just bought a house together? We did. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been so fun. It's It's been such a blast. A lot of big things have happened this year. It's been a big year for me. Engagement, bought a house. Yes, and then the end of an era. And, and it's just like, it's a big year and I'm just, yeah, I'm grateful for it all. It's been such a wild, wild year. Yeah. I love how transparent you are and you share so much of your life on social media. It's so fun to follow along oh, all the fun you. things that the two of you do day to day. What is it about Jonathan that really made him the one for you? Oh my goodness. It's, it's his heart. He's such a giving person and there for me in ways that I didn't know that I needed and just, how? I think actually it was during the loss of my dad. Yeah, and it was the biggest loss that I've ever had. I had never really gone through something like that, never really known how to go about it, what the proper way to mourn was. And without him even knowing, like without me saying anything, he was there for me like in ways that I just didn't know that I needed. And yeah. That is so special. special really finding a partner I'm like, who- I'm getting so emotional on this. I know, I know, but you know, I appreciate that you always wear your heart on your sleeve. Thank and, you. Um, to other people out there who have gone through something similar, I think you send such a great message that you oh. need to have a partner who's gonna be with Absolutely. you, not just during the glossy times, the yes. fun times that you get to get dressed up and That's go to your premiere. That's the ultimate premier. test. Yes. Is it true he didn't know that you were famous? You know, it's so funny. I um, I think he did, like I obviously told him what I did. Okay. Um, but <laughs> it was around the time that Good Trouble premiered. So we had quite a few billboards around town and I had one right outside of his neighborhood. So, Wild. you know, I was watching him. Okay, <laughs> he went all out for that proposal. He sure did. You had me weeping behind my phone, just seeing how special it was to fly all your closest loved ones out to your hometown. Ugh. Walk me through that. I couldn't have imagined a better proposal. It was just, I, I'm telling you, he was just, he's so thoughtful. It's, it was perfect. I was not expecting it. What did but, you think you were doing? Just visiting home? Well, I was told by my mom that we were doing a photo shoot for my grandma, which okay. we're not a photo shoot type of a family, so. <laughs> I didn't question it. I was like, all right, weird, but okay. Your spidey you know, sense is a little bit, yeah. Yes, but my sister, without you know, have, like wanting to give anything away, wanted to tell me so bad when I was asleep 30 minutes before we were where we needed to be. What, you she were was napping? Like, yes, I was like, I'll do my makeup in the car. And she, or she's like, girl, get it together. Come on. I was like, just not expecting it at all. And I think I really truly blacked out the entire time. I just remember saying yes, and then everyone popping out, and that was, I, it was it was amazing. So in the spirit of you saying yes, we created a little game okay. called C Said C. Oh, I love that. Do you? Yes. Okay. Rapid fire wedding related questions. Okay. Have you started planning a wedding? I have not. Okay, so this is gonna be dream casting oh. your ideal vision for your big love day. Love this. Okay, love this for me. so when, what season do you envision yourself getting married Ooh. in? I think I'm a fall or winter gal. Like local, or do you want to do something dreamy in the snow? Hmm, I'm thinking local. Okay, so you want to get married in LA. Maybe just California. Big guest list or small guest list? Small guest list. How small? Well, I don't want to introduce myself to anyone. Hopefully they've met both of you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Correct. I don't know, maybe is 150? That, I think that's a good size. I feel like that's a good size. Yeah. A dream dress designer or a dream dress style. You know, I'm gonna be that type of bride that I need an outfit change. Absolutely. I want something really classic and really beautiful to go down the aisle in. Mm -hmm. And then something kind of sexy. Short, sparkly, sexy. Yeah, exactly, to yes. change into for the yeah for the, the party. That would be great. Uh, knowing you, that makes a thousand percent sense. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> something to dance in. Absolutely. My gosh, at the end of the night. Performer, band, DJ, what kind of music do you envision for that night? DJ, 100%. Okay. I want you to play 
everything that I've loved since the age of five. <laughs> Walk me through a few of those artists. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have some Aaron's party in there. Everyone together, sing it loud. Have some Drake. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Say you never ever leave from beside me. We'll even have some bad bunny. Some old school Spanish songs for my fam. You know, we're gonna have it all. Okay, now I know you're Sierra Ramirez, you are very well connected. Are you putting out requests to maybe some of your favorite DJs, some of your favorite performers? You know, I haven't thought about that. Okay. Um, you know, you're, you're getting my wheels turning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's manifest Drake or Bad Bunny showing oh, up at your I, wedding. Okay, I'm I love that. that. I like the way you think. Personal vows or traditional vows? Oh, personal. Who do you think will cry first? Oh, well me. I've already <laughs> cried twice in this interview. <laughs> Absolutely me. Yeah. Yes. I, I love that. You're gonna just let it all out there. I, you know, who knows if I even get through mine. We'll see. No, we'll have your team on standby with tissues. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, <laughs> celebrity friends or former co-stars, current co-stars, who will either be in your bridal party or invited. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? Both. Can you give me some names? We'll definitely miss Maya Mitchell. Of course. Is she a bridesmaid? Absolutely. Have you started asking? No, I haven't. Okay. I honestly haven't. Again, like I, I'm, I feel like I'm just now getting used to calling Jonathan my fiance. Oh wow! And we're just kind of enjoying this. So, yeah, as you should. Yes, it's a special moment. So yeah, I really haven't given it much thought, but you know, one day it will be great. Yes. So yes. we can at least expect Maya to be there. Yes. On absolutely. the special day. What is the one over the top, fun, fabulous extravagance that you want? Ooh. I think I want a French fry cart. That's not over the top. We can definitely oh, get you oh, that. <laughs> I just maybe an in and out truck. Oh, there you while go. While we're at it. Is that the menu for the night? No, no. We got we got a dance and then you know work up an appetite and then the in and out truck rolls through. Is there a sentimental must have to either honor someone special, some part of your mom's dress, something like that? Ooh. Um, I definitely would love something borrowed. I think that would be great. From from your mom? Yeah, that would be great. And then have you started thinking about a bachelorette party? I'm not quite sure where, but I've definitely planned it in my head. Is it a bachelorette party or is it is it a joint bachelor bachelorette party? It's a bachelorette. Okay, boys are not invited. No boys allowed. And you think like a Miami turn up or? I definitely want to go somewhere tropical with my girls. Okay. I feel like that could be fun. Yeah. It would be very fun. But also, I, you know, Texas girl at heart. I'm like, maybe we go to a honky tonk. Maybe we go to Nashville. Who knows? All right, we'll be waiting on social media. <laughs>